A dramatic and a tense ending to a day long manhunt for a suspect wanted in connection with a deadly shooting. Eric Beauchamp is in custody being treated for a gunshot wound at, Met at Munson Medical Center. He's a patient tonight, but he's also a suspect in a murder that took place at a home in Buckley shortly after 1 p.m. today. Well, after that shooting, the search was on for Beauchamp with SWAT teams, helicopters and dozens of officers blocking off roads in northern Wexford County. Residents in the area seen there in red were told to stay indoors, keep their doors locked. But that manhunt came to an end tonight with a chase and a gunshot. 7 and 4's Alyssa Heron has been out on the scene all day. She joins us live in the studio. Alyssa, what can you tell us? Jamie, the victim's name is not being released tonight. The suspected shooter is in custody, but it was a very different situation for much of this afternoon. That's when police had the area around the murder scene blocked off and were searching a five square mile area for Beauchamp. But as it turns out, he was long gone. This is where it all came to an end, miles away. Around 7 o'clock, police received a couple tips from people calling in. Those tips led to spotting Beauchamp in a red truck heading north on M37 just past Baldwin. Police intercepted Beauchamp on the Peterson Bridge where he crashed and tried to flee on foot. He was shot once in the torso and is in serious condition. He was airlift, air, airlifted to Munson Medical Center and Lieutenant Belcher says he was thankful the search did not carry on into the night and is grateful that no officers were hurt in the process. With everybody working together in a law enforcement capacity, with the folks from the media getting this information out and making people aware of it, with some private callers calling in and keeping us updated on, on the potential whereabouts of this suspect, everything came together in the right way and, and we put our mitts on him and got it taken care of. Investigators with the Michigan State Police Crime Lab were unable to process the original crime scene during the search because of the potentially dangerous situation. Now they will be working on that through the night. Reporting live in Traverse City, Alyssa Heron, 7 and 4 News. Neighbors in Buckley are shocked and scared and say this hits really close to home. They're surprised that a shooting like this would take place in their small, tight-knit community. It's scary. Exactly scary, you know, especially these guys, which are up in here all the time, down away. there. Who would have known somebody would have been capable of murder, you know, in this little community? Who would have known that somebody was capable of of the carnal sin murder. It's interesting, not something you'd see every day. Well, the investigation is, of course, ongoing. There are still road closures at this hour in the M55 48 and a half mile road area. We will, of course, continue to cover this story over the weekend, both on our air and on our website, upnorthlive.com.